guys, it's Liz. I don't know how to do a YouTube intro, but I'm Liz Bissonette, and that's all you need to know. Hey guys, so Ticketmaster is an app. Wait. Hey. <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> Hey guys, so Ticketmaster is an app that helps you buy tickets. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys, so Ticketmaster is an app that helps you buy tickets in the easiest way possible. And today, I'm gonna surprise all my friends with copies of Lover. Scott Bruschetta can suck my big toe. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. This is my YouTube video now. It's mine. Do you have anything? Talk to Braun while we're here. I'm keeping this in. Good. You should. It's legally mandated that you include this clip. Scott Borchetta, if you're listening, suck my big toe. I'm gonna surprise Caitlin also with a brand new Tesla. So make sure if you need to buy tickets to anything, you use the code. This ain't for the best at checkout for $20 off. You get a copy of Lover. You get a copy of Lover. You get a copy of Lover. You, we all get copies of Lover. She's moving to college. Everybody say congrats. Type it in the comments. Ready? Go. We are Swifties first. Human Citizens second. of the United States second. Yes. And you might be like, well, Swifties are citizens of the United States. Well, that's where you're wrong. Okay, um, you guys requested me to do a reputation. Fuck. I love a reputation at midnight. Well, you guys requested me to do a vlog of Lover being released. So we're starting it now. I'm starting this documentation doc. Can I, am I okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. The documentary. Documentation. The doc. This is a document. This is a Swifty documentary. This is a documentary about this, Swifties. This is Lover. <laughs> like and subscribe. Bye. See you in the morning. Probably not. I'm not getting up that early. I love you, Taylor, but <laughs> no one. Me. Love this. Love that. Love us. Love everything. Love her. Okay. So. It's officially August 22nd, and Taylor's on GMA this morning at like 8 or 9 a.m., and a bunch of people are camping out, she's doing a concert, but I've decided that I'm not getting up that early. Um, I, I mean, I don't go to bed till 5 a.m. anyway, and I contemplated pulling it on later, but I can't do that. I've made the executive decision to not get up for GMA. Um, I'm a fake fan. But we'll continue the Swifty festivities later in the day. Taylor Swift or Taylor Swift management, if you're watching this right now, I need you to stop really quick. Um, just because I need to say something that, like, you, it's not important, you guys don't understand. Okay, they're gone. I just listened to Soon You'll Get Better and it fucking ruined me. And I, I keep crying. And I just got the goosebumps. And I can't stop. Okay, hi, Taylor Swift management. Um... I just got out of therapy and I just wanted to let you all know that I cried to my therapist about how much I love Taylor Swift and how her albums signify like such important parts of my life and how I just love her and yeah I just wanted to tell you and also my therapist said that she's very excited for Lover. I can't see but I feel like I look like ass because I'm going through it but anyway I spent the whole afternoon being like peak anxiety that I miss Taylor's live chat and I honestly have no idea what's going on right now and I feel like I need to watch the music video Olivia and Gila and Hannah and Annie were all there and I think they're meeting her but like I don't know for sure so if they're not I'm cutting this out but like if they are then I'm leaving this in and if you're watching this I literally love all of you with everything in me. I'm gonna put the Wii music over this so that I don't get copyrighted but just know that I'm reacting to Lover by Taylor Swift. So in love. So in love.
It's what she deserves. Oh my god, I'm so alone. I'm watching the album live stream. And nobody told me that she fucking sang The Archer? I was just watching it, minding my own business, and I was like, oh, she's gonna play a song. And then The Archer started playing. <laughs> Hello vlog, it's David Dobrik. The album is out. I'm surprising everybody with a brand new Tesla. Just make sure you go pre sit. <laughs> hey, just gonna go on the vlog. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we are gonna go listen to the album together. And then I'm gonna surprise Madeline with a Tesla. Oh my. I've always wanted a Tesla. <laughs> Rise and shine, Swifties. I'm gonna make up here. Wanna oh, say hi? Okay, I'm gonna, we're gonna do our makeup. I just summed it out. And then we're gonna change, then we're gonna go to Target. We're doing our makeup. Truce has been waiting for me because I'm, she's been taking forever. Listen, I'm trying to get my shit together. I'm gonna put in eye drops. Also, I'm stressed out because my medicine, like my medicine dosages were sitting on my dresser. So I don't think I took any of my medicines yesterday because they were just sitting out. But I'm confused because I don't feel any withdrawal effects. Then don't question it. But like, what the fuck? <laughs> I literally can't keep my eyes open. Is it because we're all in front of the sun? Probably. Probably. En route to Target. Mother frickers. We're in the car. It's happening. I'm in the back seat. Don't question it. Target, here we come. Lover, here we come. Stream grieving. The target. <laughs> We're going in. We're going in to buy our first <laughs> copies of Grieving. <laughs> so anxious. Also, I'm. I don't know how to public vlog. Oh my God, we just walked through the gates of heaven. My heart's racing. We see it. It's happening. Oh my God. Been done. It's we did it. No. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> this is we're outside Target having a literal photo shoot. I What's up YouTube? If you tweet me a screenshot of you buying lover, I'll surprise you with a brand new Tesla. We took a bunch of pictures. We met. There was this woman in there, and Teresa and I like felt kind of awkward. Just like standing there like taking pictures, but there was this really really sweet woman who was like watching us Like not like creepily like it was like cute She was like watching me like sit in front of the thing and like take a picture and I was like just take a pictures Like I love Taylor Swift and she's like oh like my son loves her like he saw her on her last tour And then she was like I saw it like the rep tour in Detroit and she saw the 1989 tour And she said that she loves Taylor and that her son is like a really really big fan Wait, Entertainment Tonight just messaged me. Hey Liz, we're doing a Tesla episode today. Do you mind if we use your YouTube video of turning her tweets into a song? That's so funny. 
Dude, the ET host is the coolest. Her name's Cassie. She but yeah, we met that woman in Target and she was so sweet. And then we were taking a selfie with like the display. And she said, you want me to take a picture of you guys? And so she took a photo of us. And apparently I'm gonna be on entertainment tonight again. What is the fuck is happening? What are your thoughts? Well, another year, no secret messages. No? No. Nope. Room for me to write. Most of it's a journal. I'm going outside. Cause it's fucking nice out. And I wanna take pictures of my CD by a pretty bush. What kind of flowers are they? Not really sure. Also, I wanna open the CD on camera. I've seen a picture online. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I love Taylor Swift so much. Did you guys know that? I don't think I've said that enough. Outside. I was gonna do this inside cause I know there's like noise out here, but it's so nice out that I just wanna be outside today. So welcome to my unboxing. I don't wanna start crying because Teresa and I wanna do like lover photos later so i don't want to start crying but like i'm going to if i can fucking open it also i'm just gonna say it this is her best album cover i said what i said this this right here is the spawn of satan okay i'm gonna open it i'm gonna open it i'm gonna open it oh my god i'm gonna cry because the deluxe versions are her journal entries and then it's also a journal for you and anybody that knows me knows that I'm a journal hoarder because obviously like I write songs, but I just journal everything. I read the foreword for the album last night and I lost it because she said that like she used to practice writing like her autograph in her journals and like I did that growing up and like taping the guitar picks and just like documenting everything like that shit hit hard. I got deluxe version three, by the way. This is the poster that comes with the deluxe version three the foreword i'm gonna read the foreword okay i'm gonna read the last part of it i've decided that in this life i want to be defined by things i love not the things i hate the things i'm afraid of are the things that haunt me in the middle of the night the things may be my struggles but they're not my identity i wish the same for you may your struggles become your inaudible background noise and the loud clear voices of those who love you and appreciate you turn those voices up in the mix in your head May you take notice of the things in your life that are nice and make you feel safe and maybe even find wonderment in them. May you write down your feelings and reflect on them years later only to learn that all the trials and tribulations you thought might kill you didn't. I hope that someday you forget that pain ever existed. And I hope that if there's a lover in your life, it's someone who deserves you. And if that's the case, I hope you treat them with care. This album is a love letter to love itself. All the captivating, spellbinding, maddening, devastating red, blue, gray, golden aspects of it. In honor of fever dreams, bad boys, confessions of love on a drunken night, Christmas lights still hanging in January, guitar string scar on my hands, false gods and blind faith, memories jumping into icy outdoor pool, creaks and floorboards and ultraviolet morning light, finally finding a friend and opening the curtains to the clearest, brightest daylight after the darkest night. We are what we love. This is lover. Me, I'm not gonna cry. Also me. A bug just hit me in the face. I'm writing my first journal entry. I've got one page here. I've got this page here. I feel like it's gonna be long. It's really emo. I'll read it when I'm done. I just wrote my first journal entry. I've been writing in journals since I was really, I mean, I talk about it in here, but I have been documenting my life in journals since I was very, very little. Um, fuck, I have the chills. It's like very surreal for me to like write in a journal that it was like created by Taylor and just the way that she's been so open and honest just makes it so special so I thought that I would read you my first journal entry <sighs> August 23rd 2019 I've written in journals since I was really little I've documented anything and everything because it was and still is how I cope with emotions I practiced autographs drew clothing designs that were very ugly and kept track of my anxiety I wrote my way through middle school and became more serious about writing music in high school the one thing that's been there for me just as much as writing is Taylor Swift's albums. Her music has been the complete soundtrack of my life for over the last decade. Through every single happy moment, she was there, and for every time I didn't think I would make it, she was there. This album was released when I needed it the most. I'll never understand how she shows up just in time, and I'll never be able to put into words how thankful I am. 
I've experienced a lot of loss and pain I never thought I'd go through. I lost myself in the process and started viewing myself as my anxiety. I don't know how to be a good friend to myself and feel deserving of good things that happened to me. Pain has truly become my normal. I feel like I've been living in a never-ending thunderstorm. I thought I loved the rain, but I'm finding more and more every day that I miss the daylight. This album and prologue have quickly shown me that. I think this body of work is the calm after the storm I've been waiting for and I couldn't be more thankful. It's brighter now. Love, Liz. I'm fine. Also, there's a journal entry somewhere where she's like, I haven't kissed a boy in 200 days. And I'm just like, sis, I haven't kissed a boy since I came out of the womb. You ain't special. <laughs> Sucker. Hello, Swifties. We, we, stream grieving. This entire lover vlog, I just have not promoted lover ones. <laughs> but I was watching Entertainment Tonight. Cause it's like, oh, like I'll pull it up and see if they're talking about Taylor. And they were, it was like the Taylor episode. And I thought that I already missed myself on it. So I was just like watching it to watch. And I go in the bathroom, I sit on the toilet with my phone. And all of a sudden, I hear my own voice. I was literally on the toilet. I don't know why everything has to happen to me on the toilet. We were just watching YouTube videos, and then Teresa saw a spider, and it was huge, and then she opened her door to go get something to kill it, and now it's gone. You have to go over there. Welcome to the Lover release vlog. Um, we have to kill a spider. Oh, I see it. It's just right there. It's Teresa, it's going to be gone by the time you get back. No, you don't talk to it. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to the spider. You know what? I am gonna talk to it. Hey, do you like Taylor Swift? Bitch, it's acting like it's dead. I know you're not dead. What are your thoughts on Lover by Taylor Swift? That was big spider. Lover release day is coming to an end. I don't know what else to put in this. Oh, Swifties. Bye. Stream grieving. Is basically over we're not doing anything else we just said ice cream uh, final thoughts are this is her best album i said what i said i'm sorry this vlog is a goddamn mess <coughs> comment down below your favorite songs from the album i love you guys with my whole heart and i will see you in my next video bye it's the next day it's the day after lover came out it's the 24th was editing last night and I realized that I didn't I like never told you which like songs are my favorite You know, and I feel like I should do that because I want to know your guys favorite songs So like maybe you want to know mine. I don't know probably not but like I'm gonna probably I'm gonna tell you anyway I might just be on like a high from this album, but I'm pretty sure that this is her best album And that's coming from somebody that has been up speaks now's ass Since it came out. Okay, like I am a ride or die Speak now superior person even though I say I can't choose a favorite song. I would say that Taylor Swift's al best album is speak now, but this right here ASMR this might be the best maybe it's because I'm an anxious bitch and she talks about anxiety and just is like The whole message and theme of this album and the songs is just Chef's kiss, you know, there's not a skip on it. So my favorite songs. I love I forgot you that you existed cruel summer the man the archer I think he knows pops off. Miss Americana in the Heartbreak Pins. At first I was like, mm. It's so good. Oh my god. And like, the whole song's like a giant metaphor. At least that's how I perceive it. And it's just fucking genius. Chef's Kiss. Paper Rings. Listen, I first heard this and I was like, mm, I don't know if I don't like it because I'm single. But like, the more I listen, the more I aggressively sing to it. And I am the most single person to ever exist. But... That will not stop me from singing Paper Rings as if I'm in love and getting married tomorrow. Cornelia Street fucking slaps, okay? It's stuck in my head. I couldn't sleep last night because it was stuck in my head. So, Taylor Swift, if you're watching this, death by a thousand fucking cuts. Death by a thousand cuts. Let me just say, boys are dumb. This song is arguably the best on the album, okay? I thought The Archer was the best song on the album, but I also thought that before the rest of it came out. But death by a thousand cuts. It's fucking genius. Um, London Boy, first time I heard it, I listened and then I forgot. And then I listened again and I was like, soon you'll get better. The song is so good and the fact that the Dixie Chicks are on it and just like, I'm so glad that she put this song on this album. 
it's gonna help so many people and like I know it's helped me and it's so good false god if I had to choose a least favorite like if I had to it'd be false god I don't hate it but if I had to choose least favorite it'd be false god but the thing is it also slaps but like it's at the bottom but I still like it you need to calm down you already know I could never hate that song it's just chef's kiss afterglow yes all I have to say is 10 out of 10 me I love that song. It makes you feel so good. Like, I skip it, me. Like, if me comes on shuffle, I can't skip it. It just, it's not gonna happen. And the fact that Brendan Yuri is on it. Yes! It's nice to have a friend. Like I said, I it was not what I was expecting at all. Very, like, eerie and, like, weird and, like, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. Like, I'm Taylor Swift stole all of my words, but the lyrics are so good. Chef's kiss. Okay, and then the last track, Daylight. I'm getting a tattoo from the song. I don't know what. Actually, I think I do know what. I feel like it's gonna cure my crippling anxiety and like you probably think I'm kidding, but like I'm not. Fucking incredible. One of my favorite songs off the album. Wait, did I just say I was gonna tell list my favorite songs and then list all of them? They're all my favorite, I guess. Fuck, I didn't even realize I did that. I love Taylor Swift with everything in me. Literally everything in me. You're probably like, Liz, you're being dramatic, but I'm not. I need a thumbnail. This is gonna be my thumbnail. Yeah, I love you guys so, so, so much. Um, thank you for watching. Um, comment down below your favorite song from Lover or your favorite songs because I feel like it's hard to choose just one. But yeah, I love you guys with my whole heart and I will see you in my next video. Bye.